Unreal Engine 5 is an amazing program for 3D artists or as an extension for virtual production. It can do so much, but oftentimes it's tedious to create simple things. So why reinvent the wheel? Here are 10 plugins or asset packs you probably need to start using right now. And I've made sure that half of these are free, so whether you have a credit card or not, everyone can follow along. And let's kick it off with Ultra Dynamic Sky. It is paid from the marketplace, but it's probably going to be your best purchase ever. Ever, aside from our courses, obviously. So Ultra Dynamic Sky takes over your skybox, sun, fog, and everything else. You just drop it into an empty map and boom, you've got a sky. Now through the blueprint, we can control everything imaginable. Change the way the clouds look, make it night and define the stars, even add planets or enable the northern lights. On top of that, there's a second blueprint for weather. You can make it rain, snow, have a dust storm and whatnot. It even allows you to easily make puddles or make other objects objects wet, it interacts with the environment. It is absolutely amazing and I'm just scratching the surface here. Plugin number two is actually a free project you can download from the marketplace. It's called Rural Australia and it contains a ton of cool stuff, but I'm interested in one specific item which is this water material. It is absolutely amazing if you want to create shallow water that sits pretty still. It even interacts with other objects creating these ripples. And you can adjust the material for a different look if you want, so absolutely worth to add to your arsenal. And this brings me to the third plugin or asset or whatever you want to call it, which is to create oceans. So there is a water plugin in Unreal itself. It works and it looks decent, but there are better options out there which take oceans to a whole new level. There are basically two that I can recommend. The first one is Ocean System for Rendered Cinematics, which is great for building oceans. It has very high detail, which makes it great for cinematic renders, but keep in mind that its performance is pretty bad. It's also not intended for games, but for offline renders. And it's also not intended for shallow water or beach lines. It's really for just oceans. So alternatively, there is Fluid Flux, probably the best water simulation plugin out there, but it comes at a price. Now what this plugin does so well are simulations. So you can create beautiful beach lines as well as rivers and whatnot. And it does run smooth. There's a free demo that you can try if you're interested. Moving on to the next plugin, which is not a plugin, but a a free library. Not many people know about this, but if you go to the Epic Games Marketplace, you can find Mega Scans under the free tab. Now, this here is not the same as the Quixel Bridge, by the way. It is made by the same folks, Mega Scans though, but there's different stuff in there. From here, you can download things like tree collections, which look absolutely amazing. There's even a wind control for these, as well as removing the leaves for a winter scene. And there's a ton of more free stuff in here, from materials to decals and other asset collections. I am not entirely sure, but I think this is all different from the Quixel Bridge, at least the trees are. So you have to download those from there. And speaking about downloads, the next one is actually a bonus add-on. So you guys know about Storyblocks, our channel sponsor. Well, you can find more than a million of high-quality royalty-free stock assets in their library. Great for video editing, but also for Unreal Engine. You see, there are tons of green screen clips. You can simply import these in Unreal, create a media player and texture, and in the material, simply add the chroma key note in between the texture and the output. This allows you to populate your scene with people if you need a crowd in the background. The same technique was used on the Netflix show 1899. And of course, apart from people, there are explosions, fog, energy assets, flying birds, and more. A great resource to build out a scene in Unreal Engine. And while other stock websites cost you a lot of money per asset, Storyblocks works with a fixed subscription fee. You can download unlimited assets and don't have to worry about copyright issues, even for commercial use. Download beautiful stock videos in HD or 4K resolution in various genres and themes. Their collections helps you to find multiple stock clips of the same. And don't forget to check out the stunning backgrounds, which are also great for Unreal Engine. You see, you can use them as a custom skybox and get really creative. There are After Effects and Premiere Pro templates and so much more. I can highly recommend to check it out, guys, and explore the library. So take back creative control with Storyblocks royalty-free assets and tools today by clicking the first link in the description down below or just go straight to storyblocks.com forward slash Cinecom. And now moving to building landscapes and you want to use Brushify for that. It is the fastest way to create a gorgeous landscape 
instantly. So you start off by choosing a biome. Next, you can paint mountains by using the included blueprints. You can adjust these mountains the way you like. And the cool thing is that it automatically takes care of the materials on the slopes as well as foliage and everything else. I built this right here in literally two minutes. Now it is really cool, but it does lack some higher quality details for cinematic renders. I tried using the moon landscape for our short film, but eventually had to use a different material because you saw too much that it was fake. So Brushify, it's really good, I highly recommend it, but don't make close-ups. Keep it as a landscape for in the distance or built on top of it with Quixel assets to cover up the lower quality in the foreground. All right, moving on to the sixth plugin on the list, which is for once an actual plugin that you can find in the plugins menu of Unreal. And we're gonna look for the modeling one in here. This enables a new modeling mode, which allows you to both create new assets or to shape existing ones. I've showed it in a previous video that you can extrude materials with the modeling plugin, as well as bend or cut certain objects. So there's a lot that we can do here, definitely worth exploring. And I'll leave a link to that previous video in the description down below. But while we're on the top, Topic of modeling, I want to show you another plugin from within Unreal, which is Datasmith. Enabling that allows you to easily import 3D models from your favorite modeling software like Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, SketchUp, and more. It basically creates a bridge between the two programs, so you can make adjustments, save it, and it will be updated in Unreal. Now, unfortunately, Blender is not supported. There is a plugin that allows that, which I have actually used in the past, but it doesn't work all the time. I guess it's because of the complexity sometimes. I'm not sure. So just start using SketchUp from now on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next in the list actually comes from a fellow creator, William Fauscher, who I look up to very much. His work is absolutely incredible, and you should subscribe to him on YouTube if you haven't already. I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description, guys. So he created a very simple but so powerful blueprint. It's called Easy Fog. You just drag it onto your scene, choose which kind of fog you want, and tweak it in the settings. Now, it is 2D. However, there is a fake volumetric setting, and you can make the fog move. This is intended to stylize your scene scene and add chunks of fog on specific places, like on the slope of a mountain. It doesn't cost much and you're supporting a fellow creator, so definitely check it out, guys. And moving on to plugin number 8 already, which is again a plugin from within Unreal. So if you look for Niagara, you want to make sure that it's enabled, but also enable Niagara fluids. Now, don't panic, we're not gonna create complex fluid systems, after all, Niagara is pretty overwhelming at first. Honestly, I haven't played around with it too much myself yet. But with that plugin enabled, we can create a new Niagara system and choose system from a template. And boom, we get a whole bunch of presets to choose from. So if I want to have some fire, I can just select that and drag it into my scene. That's it. And if you'd like to explore this further, you can find more simulation packs on the marketplace. Action via VIX, for instance, have some amazing packs, so you don't always have to learn how to work with Niagara. And this brings me to the last free one on the list. I promised you guys five free and five Bay plugin. So this one is actually a blueprint that I created myself. Now it's very basic right now, which is why I don't want to ask any money for it, but it solves a problem. You see, when you download a light fixture from the Quixel library, it doesn't have actual lights. So for this one, you got to create the tubes, give it the right emissive material, and then put a light in there. If you want to change the color or intensity of the light, you got to change your material as well. So I put all of that into a blueprint and with one control, you can change the intensity and color of the light. I even added an option to make the light flicker. Currently it comes with only one light fixture which I 3D scanned, but if there's enough interest I will expand it and make an entire pack. I have a ton of old lights here laying around so uh, I've got some scanning to do. Link is in the description down below guys and definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like I said before, the more interest and engagement there is in that pack, the more likely I will expand it in the future. But this brings me to the last one on the list which is Matt's Painting Skybox Pack. A very simple asset pack that turns your skybox into an epic sky. Now the creator has some different packs. I've got the chaotic skies, which is definitely not possible with ultra dynamic skies. So you just drag one of the material instances into a sky mesh. From the material options, you change the look and speed. That's it. Really cool. Now there's one plugin that I haven't mentioned yet, which is the most insane feature in Unreal Engine of the year. It's so huge that it needs its own video, so check it out here on my left. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Storyblocks, for your support. And as always, stay creative.